most high. Yahweh, 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 Yurhei Wahe, Yakwa, Yah, Ahaya, El Asharia, El Shaddai. Abba, Abba Nawa, Jehovah, Jah, God Almighty, the Ancient of Days, Yahweh, Yahshua, Yahushua, Yeshua, Jesus, Christ. Which one is the name? If thou canst tell. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy. Who's the, who's the person that opened his mouth? The who? The white man. And he opened his mouth in what? What is that blasphemy? Lies. So he opened his mouth in what? Read on. Against God. Against who? Against God. Read on. To blaspheme his name. To do what? To blaspheme his name. So how could the white man blaspheme God's name? Because listen, 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 listen. There are Israelite groups who are attacking us because we're not saying the name they want us to say. But the Bible says that the white man will blaspheme God's name. So they had to know it. Is that correct? They had to know it. They had to know it. Because some of you have been taught, who's here didn't learn the truth from Israel United Christ? You heard from other Israelite groups from a show of hands. One, two, three, four. When you, I want somebody, put your hands back up. Put your hands back up. Ah, uh, stand up as a matter of fact. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I want you how shy about. I want you, I want you, I want you. You're cut from that cloth. What were you told to do when you came across the name God? Say Yahweh. Say what? Yahweh. Or what else? Or Yahweh Shai. Or the Correct. powers. Right. You were not allowed to say God. Correct? Yes. Sir. But the Bible, read that scripture again. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. So, an Israelite group that just rose up now is telling you, don't say God. When you see the word God in the Bible, don't say it, it's bad. But the white man was able to blaspheme the name of God. How did he do it? Putting uh, uh, Christ as white. Say that again? Putting Christ as white, as a white man. I like that. You stood with the scriptures and you didn't go. It's blasphemy when you see the word God, you don't say it. Because they, they've conditioned us. I was trained the same way. Don't say God. That's bad. There was an Israelite camp to say, if you say God or Christ, demons start flying around in the room. Okay? What group you was with? And what did they tell you to say when you saw God or Christ? You say what? Yahweh? What they say to say for Christ? Okay, good. Pass the mic behind you. What were you told? That's new what you're saying. That's not from the old school, but I know about that. Go ahead. What were you told? Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And what they tell you to say? Ahaya. Ahaya. What does Ahaya mean? I am. I am that I am. That's what Moses was told when he said to God, what's your name? God didn't say my name is such and such. He made a statement. I am that I am. Go to Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. Got to put you on the spot, bro. You've been here long enough. These guys are new. They may not be able to take the heat that comes from me. I know you can take it. Okay? All right. Matthew 24, verse 3. Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, Why saying... Why did they come to him privately? Because prior to that, Christ had just screamed on him and told him, Look, stop worrying about the temple. This place is going to be destroyed. So they got scared. So they got him by himself. And this is what happened. Read on. Saying, tell us. When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? When is the destruction coming? And when is Christ coming back? Read on. And of the end of the world. So the dialogue now that Christ is going to give is for after he died. After he died. Nobody here who I discussed this so with, raise your hand. Nobody here. Because some of you, I was excited when I saw this. And I told you, that's why you're laughing. Don't put your hands up. <laughs> so what Christ is going to say now it's for the end of the world. For whose time? Our time. Our time. So look what Christ said after this. Go ahead. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed.
that no man deceive you. So the prophecy was that us, the Israelite nation, was going to be deceived. How is the deception going to happen? Read on. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So my question to you, brother, what was the name they told you, the Israelite group? Give me a time in history, any time since Christ died, that people came with the name Yahweh Shai to try and deceive people. You're on. Never. When? Never. Is there anybody here that can tell me when the name Yahweh Shai was used to deceive people? Now we got to switch back to Yahweh Shai. When was the name Yahweh Shai brought to us? Because he knows the origin of it. Well, this was during the time when I was, I was at One West. Me and the bishop, we were there together. And uh, it came from the elders. We had learned it from the elders of that school. Okay, uh, it was known as the Israeli School of Universal Going Practical Knowledge. Going back to what, 88, 90? Uh, uh, right. Around the, well, I, I came in at, at 1990 and 91. Bishop was there in 1990. Okay, so that's the first time he heard the name Yahweh Shai. So we're going to go to give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's go back 20 years. If, if 1990 we take back 20 years, how far that takes us back to? 1970. Let's go back 30 years to play it safe. Let's take it back to the 1960s. That's when Yahweh Shai came. As far as we know ahead, that's the first time Yahweh Shai was introduced. Tell me a time in history when the name of Yahweh Shai was used to deceive black people. You're on. Can I say something before that? Yeah. You know what's amazing about that? Because although we learned it that way, and that's what we believed in, we would have died with that. That's right. I'm me telling too. you. I we, we, got you. A, we got in fights over that thing a while back. Hey? Um, another, another school, they call it, some would say, uh, uh, what's some of the other names that they have for him? Yeshua? Yeshua? Ahaya. Ahaya. There's Ahaya, Ahaya Ashara, Yehoshua. Ahaya. Yehoshua. They got Yeshua. all kinds of different. My point is, there's, when you go over in, I saw a video where brothers went over to Israel, and, and Demona Israel, and sat with brothers over there. And they have a total different name for the Most High in Christ. They said that it, they, they said that they didn't even, they didn't even what you guys in That's New York right. say it is. He said, you people so, are not well favored. Your doctrine. And so, these people left from New York to come all the way over there. So the point that I'm making is that even even that even the names that we're using is not even universal. That's the point that I'm saying. It's it doesn't even it's not even universal among different camps in New York, much less in other countries. Understand the point that Deacon a Asap is making. Now go back to the scripture. Read it again. Read it again. Yes, read it again. Read I want y'all to catch this. For many shall come in my name. Saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. So, with all the names that we gave, what name has been brought to us and deceived us concerning the word of God and destroyed us? Go to Revelation 12 and verse 9. Let me help you out. Let me help you. I'm going to help everybody out. Stay with your point. Don't hang up. Stay there. So, don't hang up, right? Stay on the Revelation line. Stay on, on the line, line right? Don't hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Revelation 12 and 9. 12 Listen, and I want you to hear this because when, when, when Deacon Asap mentioned about deception, y'all don't understand the kind of deception that he's talking about. We're going to read about it. Read. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. Which deceived who? The whole world. So the whole world was deceived. That's the point. Now you're on. Yes. <laughs> what name has been used to deceive the whole world? Christ. What? Christ. What? Christ. Can you please say it in the mic, please? Christ. So? Christ. So, 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 the Israelite groups that are arguing us because we won't say Yahweh Shai, and we won't say Yahweh, they're lost. Those names were never used to deceive everybody. Christ said... A name was going to be given that was going to deceive the whole world. It is Jesus Christ. And for you educated Negroes that will say, well, the letter J wasn't introduced until the 17th century. What were they using before that? Allah. So well, how will we say it? Jesus. Did they deceive us with that name? No. What's the name they were using to deceive us? So y'all need to fall back with that foolishness. That foolishness has been crushed tonight. Exactly. Okay? Y'all didn't get it, did y'all? <laughs> Tell the truth. Get a come on, be honest. Come be on, honest. Y'all didn't get it. Explain it some back to me. Some brothers, Explain it back some brothers did not catch that. Some brothers didn't catch it until the next some day. Some brothers did not get that. They had to have if, a drink if they're when gonna they were be, finished. If, if the whole world was... <laughs>
Hey, ASAP, they gonna go home and they be lying down and they be like, oh, <laughs> That's what he was bringing up. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen to y'all. Let's see if you got it. Testing, testing. All right. If Christ said that they were gonna come by in his name to deceive everybody, and the name that they use is Christ, then his real name by to defy everyone else. By is default, like, by is default what? is Christ. That's right. Jesus Christ. So I don't care which one of you don't like it. They've never used Yahweh Shai to defeat to deceive us. They've never used Isus or Jesus or whatever to deceive us. It was Jesus Christ. That's the name Christ said would be used to deceive us. Now, for you Yahweh lovers that thought I was finished, let's go to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 6. And this was simple and staring us in our face all the time. You know why we didn't see it? Cursed be the man that trusted in man and maketh this arm his flesh. We were listening to man and not the scriptures. We were not following the scriptures. Malachi 1, verse 6. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. So he's giving you the analogy of a son growing up and honoring his father, and a servant honoring his master. Read on. If then I be a father, where... God is saying, if I'm your father, read on. Where is mine honor? Why you Negroes ain't honoring me? Read on. And if I... And if I be a master... God is the master of all masters. Read on. Where is my fear? You people are moving like you have no fear of me. Read on. Saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests, that despise my name. Say that again. That despise my name. So he's targeting the priests, the teachers. He said, you despise my name. Let's see what he says here. And, Read on. And ye say, wherein have we despised so my the, name? So the question is... How do we despise the name? What are how, people how is the name of God despised? despised? That's the question. Are the people walking around going, we don't want to say Yahweh. We want to say Ahaya. We want to say Yahoshua. We want to say Yah. We want to say Jehovah. Ask the question again. Wherein have we despised their name? That's what the priests were saying. How do we despise your name? And the Most High is going to say how it was despised. Read on. Ye offer polluted Bread upon mine altar, and ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? So they were not doing the ordinances given to them by God. That's how you defile his name. It got nothing to do with saying Yahweh or Yah or Jehovah or Yah or Jehovah God or whatever dumb name you could come up with. Read on. Ye offer polluted bread upon mine altar, and ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? And that ye say, the table of the Lord is contemptible. Contemptible meaning hatred. So I'm going to tell you right now. We say in God and we say in Christ and we keep in the commandments. Guess what? There's other Israelite groups that look at the table of the Lord and say it's contemptible. Because they're teaching with their penis. They're teaching for money. They're teaching things that are against the Bible. They won't put fringes on their garments. They teach with their head covered. That's what these priests were doing here. They were doing things outside of the ordinances of God. And that's how you despise his name. Had nothing to do with Yahweh or Yah or Jehovah or whatever name you want to come up with. Read on. And if he offered the blind for sacrifice. The sheep, when you read down, because remember they used to give us that scripture. For my name is dreadful among the heathen. It's in the same chapter. It's, it's going to come. It's going to come. You just got to read the whole chapter. And the Most High will make it clear what he means about you playing with his name. It's the way you deal with the church. I had nothing to do with a specific name. There's nowhere in the Bible where the Israelites argued about what to call God. It's you Negroes now that's arguing about what to call God. And that's the devil. Because the devil wants to keep us. But scriptures say God is not the author of confusion. How are we confused? Because we weren't serving God the right way. So we have history now of the Israelites not serving God the right way. And he says he's angry with us. And we're despising his name by not doing what we're supposed to do for the people. Read on. It's going to say it. And, and if you offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? Say that again. Is it not evil? It's evil when you don't do the ordinances that the Most High tells you to do concerning his flock. Read on. And if he offered the lame and sick, was the lame not, and the sick and the blind were the sheep? Is they were it not, not offering the best sheep. So he was saying it's evil that you people are going against the ordinance that I put for you. 
Let me say something to that, just so you can understand exactly what he's talking. Cause that's coming out of the law. That thing about putting up a a bit, a broken sheep, a broken because the lamb that you were supposed to sacrifice was supposed to be of the first year without blemish. That was according to the sacrificial laws. That's the reason why Christ Himself couldn't sin, because right, he, he had to, to be, be perfect. Perfect. he had to be yes. perfect. That's the reason why he was called the acceptable lamb because he was without sin. That's the the the. The, the Old Testament was the schoolmaster that brought us up to Christ. That's what all that's talking about. A lot of people dumb as hell when it comes to the scriptures. They don't understand that. Okay, that's the reason why Christ couldn't sin. Hence, he had to be without blemish. So that these priests were supposed to know that. They're putting up a beat-up animal talking about sacrifice to the Most High. Read on. Is it not evil? Or offer it now unto thy governor. He said, give that disease and sick she and blind sheep to the governor. To the president, to Obama. He was mad at the way we were dealing with him. So he says, you offer it to the governor and see if he'll accept it. Now, I got to say this here. And we was reading in the Leviticus earlier. I was thinking about that. There's a law that says that if we found anything that died of itself, we were supposed to give it give to, it to, to the, the nation. Heathen. Give it to the heathen. <laughs> Read on. Will he be pleased Meaning that it was sick. That's what it was saying. If the cow, if the if the if the animal was diseased or sick and it died of itself, because you're supposed to kill the meat and not eat it. And not Israelites eat it. were not supposed to eat any animals that died of itself because it was sick. Say the question again. Oh, will he be pleased with thee? Will he be pleased if you give the wrong offering to the governor or accept thy person? Will say he it? accept your persons? Will he say, you know what? It's, it's, it's Deacon Yawasap. I'll take it from him. Read on. Saith the Lord of hosts, and now I pray you, beseech God that he will be gracious unto us. This has been your, this has been by your means. Will he regard your person? Because God ain't going to care about who you are, even if you have an exclusive name for him. Because that's what they taught you in the school, rather than the correct servants, the correct obedience to God. Read on. Saith the Lord of hosts. Who is there even among you that would shut the doors of naught? So he's naught. asking a question. Read on. Neither do you kindle fire on mine altar Be for naught. Because those are the ordinance to burn incense on his fire. Re read on. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord. What did he say? I have no pleasure in you. Read on. Saith the Lord of hosts. Neither will I accept an offering at your hand. So at, at no time is he saying, you people are not saying Yahweh. You despise my naming and not saying Yahweh. What is he complaining about here by a show of hands? In the back, all the way in the back. I haven't heard you speak in a long time. I got to make sure the spirit of the most high is still on you. What is, he, what is he complaining about here when he says you despise my name? Despise his name by not keeping his laws that, that he sent to Israel. You're damn right. Read on. For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same my name shall be great among the Gentiles. How do we make his name great among the Gentiles, brothers and sisters? By keeping the commandments. Surely these are the people of the Lord. <laughs> okay. That's the scripture. That's the scripture. That's the precept. Because the Gentiles knew if these Negroes are keeping the commandments, don't touch them. They God is going to deliver them. That's how the Gentiles feared us. It wasn't because you said Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. Read on. <laughs> and in every place, incense shall be offered unto my name. The service of the Lord, of keeping of the temple. Read on. And a pure offering for my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts. Read now verse 12. But ye have profaned it, and that ye say, the table of the Lord is polluted, so and the fruit thereof. Even his meat is contemptible. So they didn't want to do the service. So when it says, for ye have profaned it, what is the it that was profaned? What, is, what, what are we reading about? But what did it say it was? Who said that? Because that's what it's talking about. Exactly. I want y'all to pick that up. Exactly. The law is his name. He Read. said, but ye have profaned it. Read the on. It. Was the, all of this is the name of the Most High. Ye said also, behold, what a weariness it is, is it? And that's, is, is that not how these people are now, these other Israelite groups? That's a person that's weary of keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Because the New Testament tell us, how many wives can we have? 
what are the other Israelite groups saying? You can have as much as you want. To hell with IUIC. We tired of being with one woman. We want to have sex with a whole bunch of women. We want to take their paycheck. We want to beat them. We want to keep them down and keep them dumb, stupid, and ignorant. But the priests, the same way they were wary, is the same way you got Negroes who's wary now. That's why they knock IUIC. That's why they hate our guts. Them niggas is always talking about fringes. Because the other groups don't speak about fringes. They're always talking about that damn law. Look at them with their garments. So the priests back then were wary in upholding the law and putting the standard for the Most High's name. Read on. Ye said also, Behold, what a weariness is it, and ye have snuffed at it, saith the Lord of hosts. They snuffed at the discipline like Deacon Yawasaf started the class. The men that walk with Christ were called what? Disciples. They were disciplined in keeping this law. And that's what we don't have amongst the nation. And that's what we're trying to create here. But men over a period of time will get wary in being disciplined and constantly keeping the law. Read on. And ye brought that which was torn and the lame and the sick and the sick. Thus he brought an offering. So it showed by their actions they didn't care about the Most High no more. They didn't care about his name no more. They broke from the standard that was given to them. Read on. Should I accept? So what did he ask them? Should I accept this? He said, Should I accept this behavior from you? Read on. Saith the Lord, but cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth, and sacrifices unto the Lord a corrupt thing. So my question to you is, my question to you is, what is he talking about? How will you get cursed? Because people say you'll be cursed if you don't say Yahweh. If you don't say Yahweh, Shai, judgment is going to come to you. Somebody tell me, how will you get cursed by what you just read? This is how what Malachi has said. Y'all going to come back next week and be like, damn. Because all the hands should have got up with how simple I broke it down. Young man over here that just got here a couple of weeks ago. Explain to me. What will you be cursed for? For being a deceiver. Why? Because you deceive the people with the animals. He's, say, 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 say. Because you say. deceive the people with the animals. What, what, what was wrong with the animals? They weren't. They weren't. Uh, they were all jacked up. Exactly, exactly. He said that the priests thought they were so far above God, they could do things, and God wasn't going to notice that the sheep weren't the way they were supposed to be. They were diseased. They were sick, and they were blind. The Most High always asked for the first fruits, the best of the best of your flock, of your herd, of your crops. He always wants the best. So he says what? Read it again. That law go all the way back to Adam. Go all the way back to well, Adam. Exactly. Because he, he said that, that, that Abel bought the firstling of his, his flock. He bought the right thing right. then. If thou doest well, he says, why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, will thou not be accepted? So Cain despised the Most High in his name back then. And it wasn't no Yahweh. The despising is the same thing the priests are doing now. He brought the wrong offering, and God checked him. And what did he do? He got mad at his brother who was doing the right thing. So we do not see a contrast here. You have one group doing the right thing, another group doing wicked, so they're making videos and they're mad at somebody else. Read it again. But curse be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth, and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing. So that's what the priests were doing. They were not doing the priest's office correctly. They were bowing to the Lord a corrupt thing. And they're telling us we're cursed because we don't say Yahweh and Yahweh shine. Show me that in the Bible. Somebody give me a scripture that says that in the Bible. Read on. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts. Now I remember when I first heard this 20 years ago from when I was reading with Deacon Yawasap, Ramila, the rest of them, and they used this scripture to say that the white man is afraid of God's name. Hmm. Read on. <laughs> For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So what do the heathen dread? What is it? The nations are afraid of you keeping the laws. That's exactly. what they're afraid of. There's exactly. a scripture. There's a, the scripture says that to one, this is the smell of death, and the other, this is the smell, the savor of. So you know what I'm talking about? This is death to the nations when we keep this, when we keep the commandments. Because what, what is, what us keeping the commandments? What is that going to do? For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ. For we, in our repentance, is unto God as a sweet savor of life, of light, 
what it say? I'm not reading it. What it say? For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, and them that are saved, and in them that perish. To the one we are the savor of death unto death. To the one we are the smell. Savor means smell. To one we are the smell of death. That's the dreadfulness that it's talking about there. Because it ain't just talking about the nations. It's talking about two-thirds of our people because uh, uh, they're going to die with their enemies. So we are the smell of death to them too. You understand? And, and to the other, the savor of life we unto are, life. We are, the, we are the smell of life to our people that are in bondage that are waking to be woken up by you. Y'all understand that? Okay. So y'all should never, ever be confused anymore concerning the name of God and the name of Christ. Because the name that Christ said was going to be used to deceive the whole world is Jesus Christ. I don't give a damn about your letter, J. Because they didn't use Jesus or ISIS to deceive the world. They used Jesus Christ. Let me make it simple for them. If you go anywhere around the world and you see that picture of Cesar Bogier, what name come to your mind? Does the name Yahweh Shah come to your mind? If they write Yahweh Shah across the picture, you'll think that the name belongs somewhere else rather than on the picture. But if they put Jesus on it, you say, okay, the, the picture match the name. Because that's the name that they use to destroy everybody. That's what they're bringing up. Now I'm gonna that's what Christ was telling us. I'm going to finish it off now. Let's say Deacon Asaph sold off, sold out. He put his fingers like this. He's with Illuminati. Okay, they paid him off. He, they giving him money to say this. You got the checkerboard floor. You know, everybody floor. listens to him. <laughs> you on the checkerboard floor. He did a floor. video on the checkerboard floor. He sold out. And let's go with what you say. It is Yahweh Shai. So based on what you're saying, we must remain here another 120 years. Because what has to happen is the name Yahweh Shai has to circulate throughout all the earth. And something has to happen where we no longer know how to read and write, and they have to take that beautiful image up there and turn it back to white and then attach the name of Yahweh Shai on it. Because so that don't make no damn sense. That don't make no... Listen! Deacon <laughs> Yahweh Shai is saying, I, who got the point? Who don't understand? I want somebody who has not spoken. For, for everybody to be <laughs> deceived with Yahweh Shai, that means they would all have to know it. That's the point. Exactly. That's what Christ is saying. Exactly. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. So, in other words, they will have to, he says, for many will come in my name saying, I am Yahweh Shai, and deceive everybody. How many people on earth know about that name? So, how in the hell is the whole world going to be deceived by that? That's the point. Okay, and like I said, that's why I gave you the history. That's why I gave you the timeline. We gave them 40 years that it's being circulated. I'll give you 50 years. In the 50 years, I've never heard it until I came around other men who say it. I'm talking about worldwide. Don't nobody know what the hell is Yahweh Shai. Nobody knows what that is. So for it to pick up steam, you're talking about at least 100 years for it to circulate throughout, let's say even 50 years. Let's say 20 more years. We're going to be here a long time waiting on that doctrine that you have. You can go overseas and say the name Jesus in English and they'll understand what you're talking about. And people will invite you into their house. He's a Christian. Come, come. He's a Christian. Set a plate for him. He's a Christian. They don't speak in English at all, but you could go over there and say Jesus. And they know that, that picture pop up and everything else in their mind. Oh, Barack Obama didn't run on the name Yahweh Shai. When they put them images up, up with the turban and Allah Akbar, they took, went to his wife's church where she came back and said, no, no, no. He came here 30 years ago. He's a Christian. He believes on Jesus Christ. And the whole world was deceived. It was not Yahweh Shai. We could play this game all day. Y'all wrong. You're wrong, spies online of the Israelite caps. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again... Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel 
to get your latest updates on our YouTube channels. Shalom.